Good afternoon and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site, we have Vinay Kapoor. He's the Head of Diversity and Inclusion in the Americas over at BNP Paribas. Thank you so much for joining us at market site today. Pleasure to be here. DNI, Diversity and Inclusion, mm. it is such a key topic for corporate America and around the world. Why is that? Absolutely, it's completely, it's critical It's uh, to corporate America because it's, um, we recognize that organizations that embrace diversity and inclusion are much more creative, much more innovative, we have higher problem solving capabilities, we can attract the best talent to our organizations and we can relate to our clients so much better as well. But for me, it's also a human rights issue as well. This is about making sure that everybody has the opportunity to develop their careers within the bank, um, for everybody and um, and personally it's also important to me as a gay man as a person of color right. differently abled as well um, it's also very personally important to me as well so what are you doing at BNP Paribas to increase awareness sure and I think and, and you're absolutely right that, that awareness question is, is key because for me it's education it's changing mindsets it's developing our mindset so education is absolutely essential to our journey so we're delighted to be rolling out unconscious bias training to all four of our thousand staff here in New York and New Jersey offices. And we use a live theater, uh, forum theater, um, to, which is highly interactive, using actors from Broadway, actually, um, to role play real life situations, uh, using a live case study to bring, this, to bring diversity and inclusion to life. So it's not just a policy, it's not just something that we see on our right. intranet. So we're bringing this conversation to life and giving us safe, a safe space to have these courageous conversations as well. So education is absolutely uh, critical as well. And we have lots of targeted initiatives to help us diversify our workforce as well. So, for example, we have female talent sponsorship programs are looking at gender. Um, we had Advancing Black Leaders, which is about developing black talent pipelines within the organization. And also an LGBT uh, Future Leaders Day, which is a career accelerant for staff who identify as LGBT. But for me, it's not just about the diversity. Diversity is a mix. Inclusion is where we want to get to, because that's when we realize we get the business benefits. Because by having an inclusive organization, we avoid things like groupthink, which we know has, has, uh, uh, has been an, an industry-wide problem as well. And and um, for me, that's, um, that's where the business benefits come from as well. So diversity is being invited to the party. Inclusion is getting everyone to dance. And that inclusion mm -hmm. is, uh, is where the real tangible business benefits are as well. What are some of the challenges with implementing d &I initiatives? I think one of the um, challenges can be um, that sometimes in the industry we see a, a sense of complacency. We've got one, we've got one woman on the board, we're done. Mm -hmm. And absolutely that's not enough. And um, we can't rest on our laurels. And that's one of the biggest challenges I, uh, that we face as an industry, I find, is um, saying how do we keep the drumbeat alive on these messages? Because what we're looking at here is human behavior. And it's changing mindsets and uh, keeping the drumbeat alive on these issues. Because otherwise uh, we will go back. And uh, we're on this DNI journey, and uh, uh, I'm pleased to be so. And, uh, and it's part of our group uh, values and enshrined in our DNA. Well, it's imperative that you have DNI programs. We've established mm. that. But what do you do to actually practice what you preach, how to foster a really true, inclusive environment? Because you have to. What you're looking at on paper, you have to put to practice. Absolutely. And for me, that's about changing the culture of the organization, changing the way that we view leadership within the organization as well. And um, for me, it's, um, again, mindsets, culture, education. And it's about translating those, uh, those fantastic initiatives to change the wider ecosystem. So we're not just um, creating diverse talent pipelines as well, but again, make sure that we're creating an inclusive environment as well. Right. And you necessarily don't have to belong to that specific group. You can Absolutely. be an advocate of it as well. Absolutely. Right? And, and, and I think allies have such a strong role to play. Mm -hmm. They're critical. Absolutely. And because for me, allies, be it, uh, whether you're a, a straight ally, a, a pride right. ally, right. or uh, a, um, on, from a he for she ally, etc. Mm -hmm. For me, what you're doing then is you are amplifying the voice of the other. And that is so critical because that's when change happens. And that's when the empathy goes through the roof. Mm -hmm. And that's when um, we can put ourselves in the shoes of the other and, um, and we can really make real change forward as well. All right, thank you so much for the insight. All right, and thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.